And we hear devastating COVID numbers every day, but behind those numbers are real people and real pain. For one family in San Bernardino, they know it all too well after 10 members got the virus. And as CBS 2's Alex Biston shows us, one of their loved ones did not recover. I don't want to see any other families going through what we're going through. It's the hardest thing I've ever been through. Marisa Milan fights back tears as she describes how the coronavirus is devastating her family. This virus is just a monster. The San Bernardino mother of five recently battled COVID, but to make matters worse, nine other people in her household, including her mother, father, five sons, her husband and daughter-in-law, all became infected. She believes the virus spread after a family member came home from work and felt sick shortly after. It's so contagious, this virus. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work. It just spread like wildfire throughout our house. We tried to quarantine. We have three bathrooms. You know, we only, you know, we try to separate everybody. It just, it was impossible. And now, a week before Christmas, the Milan family has lost its patriarch. Marisa says her father, Joe, died at Kaiser in Fontana after being on a ventilator for 18 days. I gave him a hug and I kissed him and I told him I loved him. <laughs> The next thing I know, the doctor's calling me at 11 p.m. at night telling me that they had to put my dad on a ventilator. I never got to talk to him again or see him. Marisa's mom was also hospitalized for eight days after she contracted the virus. Esther Milan describes her husband of 41 years as a man of faith and a proud Marine veteran. While she recently recovered, she was never able to say goodbye to her best friend. I just can't except that he died alone. I, I, I think that's so cruel. Marisa says her family always took precautions by wearing masks and distancing from anyone outside their immediate household. She has a plea for those who still don't take this virus seriously. People, they, they don't listen and it's, it's frustrating because I see, you know, people on my Facebook and they're gathering and doing things and it's like, you guys just lost my dad over here. You know, I'd hate to see that happen to your family. Alex Biston, CBS 2 News.